In the last lesson, uh, we went over how to use HTML kit to create uh, web pages. So let's uh, take a look at what we did last time. I copied a bunch of code in and said, okay, there you go. So let's take a look at the different um, elements that we have. So an element simply is a tag in HTML that starts less than and a greater than symbol and has a start and an end. So we say, okay, start with HTML and end with HTML. And then we have two sections in there. We have a head section and we have a body section. So the head section is where your uh, is not displayed in the white area of uh, a web page, uh, except in the title bar. So if I was to preview this now, nothing there. But untitled is up in the uh, title bar because that's what's here, untitled. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change this um, to uh, first lesson. And then when I go ahead and preview it, you can see that first lesson now is up on the title bar and nothing is in the white area. So the head section really is for things that are not going to be displayed. The next section is the body section and this is going to be in the white area. So if I simply type in something in the body area and then preview it, now we have some text on the page, but that would be pretty ugly stuff. Um, another thing we can do is we can set attributes uh, for these elements. So say for the body, uh, if we wanted to, I can say that um, BG color, and you can see that it's, it's helping me here, uh, and it's equal to aqua. Aqua, uh, and now when I go ahead and preview it, so by default the attribute of the body tag is white. Uh, the issue that we have with using a the attribute of that is that it's not very flexible or powerful as what we can use uh, in something called cascading style sheets. So cascading style sheets is a way for us to extend HTML, and actually that's what we want to use. So we want to use this for our structure. But for our uh, style, we want to use CSS. And since it's just going to be information, not something we want people to see, uh, we're going to be using the head section for that. So we simply just go ahead and add a style. <clears throat> so it adds that we're going to, it's going to be text and it's going to be CSS and then it also closed it and then it added our comments so HTML kit does a good job of uh, giving us stuff that we want so what I'll do is I'll say well I want to change the attributes of the body tag and then I have to put a brace which is shift the key next to P and that says that anything inside this brace and let me go ahead and put a closed one in so anything inside these braces is going to be uh, a new or a changed attribute of the body tag. So I'll press enter and I'll move over a little bit and I'll say well I want to change the attribute called background dash color and we use a colon to set the new one and you can use a bunch of um, color codes or there are actually um, 16 web colors and the color I'm going to use is my favorite color is aqua that I used last time Oops. and then I put the brace down here just to make a little or my formatting a little bit easier for anyone else to come back and see okay this is where he started and this is where he ended and I can go ahead and change that for another um, attribute if I wish alright so let's see what we've done Okay, so we've changed the background color now. No different from using the body tag to do it. But again, I can do um, set a lot more attributes for the body within CSS than I can in HTML, and that's really an ugly way of doing it. This is the best way of doing it, and it provides us a lot more flexibility. So what are some of the other attributes? So we have another one that we call, let's do one H1. And I say uh, my name is Tom. And then I'll preview it and see what happens. And it works. 
Uh, so having a start and stop one, the only problem is if I do not stop H1, I am going to have H1 for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and stop H1. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to come down here and say, I am your instructor. And then I'll preview it. And you can see, well, it's all on one line here, and it's all big and bold. That's not what really what I wanted. And that's because uh, carriage returns are ignored by the browser. So if I press Enter over here, it doesn't it ignores as, as if it was all in the same uh, one. So I have to find ways of stopping, of making carriage returns. Um, and we'll, sh we'll see later on that. Well, let's go ahead and do it now. If I want, I can say, okay, well, this is a start of a new paragraph, and this is the end of my paragraph, so I'm using another element, the paragraph element, and now when I preview it, okay, well, now it looks a little bit better, because it's now on separate lines, so this is my H1, and this is my paragraph. The problem is it's all big and bold, because I never shut off H1, so this attribute stays until it's stopped. So I'm going to come over here now and stop it by putting a slash H1. So the slash means stop whenever you see H on there. Now when I go back here and preview it, ah, much better. So this is my heading and this is my um, this is my first paragraph. Alright, so simple things is a, a, a nice easy lesson. I just want to let you know when you were looking through the book why they did these things. Why did they put a, a body up here instead of just adding it down there? And we know it's because this is the way to do it because this is our style and this is our structure. Also that we have stop and stop, stop and start and stop tags and if you don't put a stop tag in it does not stop. <coughs> Alright so Again, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, um, I'm still in my Starbuzz, but suppose I weren't. Um, if I go back, I'll go into my USB drive. I have my HTML kit installed. I go into Starbuzz, and I'll put this as lesson two html so we can see what we did later on i can go back and, and open that up and again if i close it if i want to open go back and open it back up again i simply hit the open file double click it'll show me the html i hit preview and there it goes